Hello, my friend. Happy Monday. Welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Week. I'm just trying to tidy some things up before we make some dinner, which I'm going to be making the mango shrimp bowls that you've seen a few times here on my channel now. But here's what I want to say, because I was like, I even tonight, so I didn't plan dinner. Today was... We won't get into today. What a crazy past couple of Mondays we've had around here. I know you've heard me say this a million times, but just in such a full on season of life right now. And so that's the thing. Repeat meals can be so helpful. Do not be afraid of repeat meals. I know that it can be, or maybe we can sometimes feel that pressure to always be cooking a different Pinterest meal every single night. And while I love variety and I love making new recipes and obviously experiencing new flavors, the key to consistency is simplicity. And I've just really found that to be true in my life when we make things really, really simple, even if it is something like a repeat meal, because it actually takes less brain work, especially like literally your brain, it, it's easy because you're, you're not feeling as overwhelmed. Like, okay, I gotta do this recipe and follow it. And what do I need? And what about that ingredient? If you already know, how to make it, it's so easy, and your your brain, it, it, it truly takes up less mental space, and you are able to have less resistance when you are trying to figure out what you're gonna cook and make and everything like that. Let's get cooking, and I'm definitely, me, this is the writing situation right now. It is full on writing season, and Meester, are you gonna write this book? Because I just wasn't really sure if, um, now that we moved Meester to a more comfortable place of my laptop, <laughs> I'm going to get cooking. I'm drinking my seven teas and I'm just drinking all the fun caffeine free beverages tonight. Make this dinner super quick. And that's the other thing. It's so quick too. This is so fast. Shrimp cooks so quickly that you can put on the rice and then, and it's just, it's so good because you get your protein, carbs, and fat, and then you get your glutathione. I'm so, I'm still used to not saying glutathione. It, apparently it is glutathione. So glutathione, which is a, an, an, which is so funny. I'm like, I know what it is, but I don't know how to fully pronounce it all the way. That's the thing. I don't know everything and I don't ever <laughs> pretend to, but I do know that it is an antioxidant and we need the amino acid uh, glycine to make that antioxidant. So, and glycine is found in the bone broth, which is what we cook the rice in for this recipe. So that's just really going to make it very nutrient dense cooking your rice in the bone broth. It's such an easy way to really just add in that anti-inflammatory component. All right, let's get cooking. <laughs> successful monday night dinner and welcome brooke to the wellness method cheers to monday night dinner it's really good thank you happy tuesday so today we are doing the lemon chicken it's a greek lemon soup it is so good i absolutely love it you definitely seen this meal on here as well, but that's the thing. I feel like this week is very good representation of doing repeat meals and having staple recipes that you really like, that work for you, and that you kind of almost know by heart. It's just less resistance for your brain, it really is. And so it just feels easier, it feels more doable. So doing that soup tonight, it's one of my favorites. It's just so 
refreshing. That is the best way that I can describe this soup. The herbs and the citrus really bring so much flavor and life to that soup while keeping it very, very simple. I mean, it's minimal ingredients and it's not overwhelming with all these different flavors. It's just so simply delicious it really is so you want 10 cups of liquid total so i'm just trying to use up these bone broths so i'm gonna pour them in here and then i'm gonna add water to whatever is remaining of the 10 cups i love bone broth again this is just so great to make sure that you get in that amino acid glycine it's so anti-inflammatory and good <laughs> This is truly such a nourishing meal between just your basic macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fat. You have the chicken, of course, the protein, and then you also have the bone broth, which is protein as well. Sorry, I feel like I have soup in my teeth. Having both of those proteins in there gives you a wider range of amino acids and just makes it very anti-inflammatory. With the bone broth, it's just amazing. Of course, you have your carbohydrate with the rice in there, which I love, and I soaked that beforehand. And the fat is obviously from the egg yolk. And egg yolks are not only rich, very rich in nutrients, but they're specifically rich in choline. So they obviously have minerals in there, but specifically choline, our brains and our nerves system needs choline to help with our memory, our mood, our muscle control and everything like that. So egg yolks are very, very nutrient dense and really make this extremely nourishing along with the bone broth. And then of course, even the parsley. So it's just so good for your blood. And I mean, this dish is truly delicious. And even just the salt, like we truly need sodium as well. It's so important to have those minerals. I love that this soup, there's no chopping except for the parsley. And even the lemon is so, that's a great whole food source of vitamin C, which is incredible. This is one of my favorite meals of all time, I think. I wouldn't really categorize the chicken sweet potato bowls that I make with salsa verde as refreshing. It's really good and very flavorful and absolutely delicious and I love it, but I wouldn't say that it's refreshing, you know? This is refreshing. It's like every bite, imagine just a hot summer day and you are just sipping on watermelon juice or like a lemonade and it's just, you can't get enough of it because it's so refreshing to your body and your taste buds and that is what this soup is. I. I think it's the lemon and the parsley combo. Okay, another thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could go on and on and on. But I think the other thing too is it's so light, but the egg yolk makes it just rich enough. It's perfect. It's, it's actually perfect. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not done. Okay, last thing. I'm, I actually am sorry. I mean, I know that's literally the entire point of this video. But I feel like I've been talking about this lemon soup for about 3 million years now. The rice and the chicken makes it very hearty. So it's like this light, refreshing, hearty meal. It's like everything all at the same time. You're like, what, what's happening? And your taste buds, every time you're just trying to 
you're, you're, you can't get enough. You, it's so good. It's so good. Good job. Good job, Soup. Just great job at being you. I love you so much. Okay, this is getting weird. I'm gonna eat my soup and go. I'm done. I promise, I'm done. I just got back from a walk with Mesa. It was so windy outside, wow. But it's time to make dinner. It is Wednesday and tonight, I'm gonna be cooking up these sweet potato bowls. I had the, you saw I had the lemon chicken soup for dinner last night and so I wanna use up the other chicken breast that I defrosted because I didn't end up using both of them. So I'm just gonna cook up that one and then Bo and I will just split it. And we're gonna do some delicious sweet potato bowls. I crumbled some of these Siete grain-free tortilla chips on there, the lime ones. Mm -hmm. Excited to try it. Oh no, my camera's gonna die. Well, this was an amazing dinner. So flavorful, so easy, so delicious. Protein carbs back. Just so, Good. don't underestimate the power of citrus and fresh herbs. Delicious. So happy Thursday and welcome to Cambria's Cambo, I should say, Cambo's Kitchen. Bo is making us dinner tonight. We're doing the classic spaghetti. It's been a full on day and I have so much writing to do tonight. So he's taken over for dinner and I am gonna write. So I'm just gonna pop the noodles into the pan or into the pot. Can't even think, my brain. And we're gonna just eat a spaghetti dinner tonight. It's gonna be very delicious. He sauteed up some mushrooms and garlic and oh a little tip oh onions yeah. and you did fresh oregano yum from the garden pulled some oregano wanted to share a little tip with you so something that i always do is whenever any type of protein is on sale because that's typically the more expensive portion of the meal if it's ever on sale i do like to stock up on it in bulk because it ends up saving a lot in the end so i talked about that i mentioned that one time with the shrimp that we really like but uh especially for grass-fed beef as well it was on sale and so and it was on a really good sale so i got a lot of it and then we uh pre-portioned it out and freeze it and so that's what we're doing tonight we're just doing some brown rice pasta with some organic grass-fed beef and some Parmesan Reggiano. Don't steal a thunder. Wake up at the right time. Looking at my light. I don't say it was fine. On and on and on. We gotta keep it up. We gotta keep it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, baby, take it time. You got your whole life. I put faith in the sky. Okay, well this is phenomenal. It's really flavorful. You cook everything so perfectly. It's delicious. So this is the best since spaghetti. I cook, do you clean? <laughs> hmm? I'm gonna joke. No, this is really good, babe. Honestly, amazing job. I'm super impressed. Why are you so good at cooking? Why? Mm. Thursday night dinner in the book. Butterflies I'm turning go. Got me spinning around like Buttercup. How could I feel so certain? Yeah, so big. We made it to Friday. So tonight we are doing a super quick and easy dinner recipe. I'm just gonna, I want something that was gonna take less than 20 minutes or is gonna take less than 20 minutes and so I popped into Trader Joe's on the way home from my chiropractor appointment and I just wanted to pick up some acai packets but then I saw fresh wild-caught 
cod and I decided that's what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. The reason I love fish so much is not only because it is such a great source of protein, but I really love how fast it cooks. Let's get cooking. We gotta get the I want to welcome Claire to the Wellness Method. My phone just buzzed. And so then that makes me want to welcome also Lexi who joined earlier today. Okay, I need to tend to this asparagus right now. <laughs> This looks so good, I'm so excited to eat it. Oh, and I did end up adding in a little Parmesan Reggiano on top of the potatoes, and that's just gonna add more vitamins and minerals to the meal. And by the way, adding in a little bit of the coconut aminos to the asparagus is so good, and I do that at the very end. Usually cook the asparagus for about 10 minutes, just to get it soft enough, and then I put the coconut aminos in there and cover it with a lid, and it just steams it to perfection, and it's so flavorful and good, and that's it. And I put a little salt on top, and I don't do anything else, so. The asparagus is so good. You got to try that. Oh, and one more last little tip here, but I think that having a thermometer for cooking has made me such a better cook. And I know that might seem really simple or like, well, duh. I definitely would say, I was thinking about that tonight. I'm so glad that I have a thermometer. It makes my life and my cooking so much easier. And especially if you are new to cooking and you just, you know, you're trying to, you're just, you're trying to get better at it. I feel like it's just one of those tools that not only for beginners, but just for chefs, you know, using the thermometer is, it's just amazing. So, I mean, I'm not a chef, but I will say that my food is yummy. So anyway, that's my little, that's my last little tip and I'm gonna finish my dinner and what a delicious, yummy Friday night meal. I hope you enjoyed that what I eat in a week and got some meal inspiration for this week and just honestly realized that you can definitely do repeat meals and they are so helpful and very practical throughout the week, but they can still be very flavorful and yummy and delicious. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click thumbs up if you did. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> I always give you a second there, you know, to click it. But okay, so there's a spider. be over there. So, okay. Now on to today's giveaway. And this is what I call just a Cambria hodgepodge of random stuff that I just collected as I've gone about my week that I'm really excited to show you and so excited to give you for this giveaway. So this giveaway is for us residents only so heartbreaking, but Let's get started. So this is the Skills Pro Knit Mini Band. These are fabric, this is a fabric resistance band, but it's just a really, really high quality one. So I really love this company. And honestly, as I was just kind of shopping around, I thought I haven't done, you know, more fitness kind of stuff. It's usually kitchen and everything like that. And I have been loving my workout bands for my workouts lately. So always have, but just especially lately. So I figured I would get you a resistance band. So it's really, really wonderful. I love training with these. So, and then of course, with your training, you gotta have a good, no damage scrunchie. So I actually asked my sister, I was like, of all the scrunchies for no damage, like what would you choose? So she chose these and she's a hairstylist. So these are very, very soft and they just feel, I don't know, they just feel extra gentle. So got you some of those. And then you know how much I love my straws. I'm actually drinking, it's very watered down now, but my iced coffee from this morning, I'm still drinking it. And I love my reusable straws. And I saw these, these are bamboo ones. And I thought how fun are those. I just love, I love that they're bamboo. I think they look really pretty and I figured you could enjoy your iced latte or your iced green tea or whatever you're drinking and use your reusable bamboo straws. And then 
Uh, I saw this, this is a spoon rest, and this is actually the exact same one that I have. Let's see if you can, it's right there. And I really love it. I'm like, why did it take me so long to get a spoon rest? And honestly, it makes your kitchen, you, you would think, maybe how helpful could it be or really how much mess could it prevent? And maybe I was just a really messy, just set the spoon down wherever I would go, but it's actually made cooking much cleaner in our kitchen. So I got you this adorable little, it kind of looks like marble spoon rest. So when you're doing your cooking throughout your week, whatever you're eating, you have a spoon rest and then Okay, you, ugh, I'm trying to say, that was not a smooth transition. I was trying to go into a smooth transition of spoon rest to spoon, but it wasn't smooth. So I just have to accept that it was, it was a rough transition. But anyway, you got a spoon. So I saw this little gold stir spoon. I thought this is so beautiful. Stir up your iced coffee in the morning, whatever you need to stir. Just really cute, little gold spoon. So I got you that. And then I'm so excited. Okay, what should I show you first? Uh, okay, I got you this Adidas hat. You've seen that I have my white baseball cap that I wear all the time, and I just saw this and I had to get it for you. So whether you're working out, it's now spring and we're leading into the summer months and it's getting warmer. And so when you're heading outside for your daily walk, doing your 10K steps a day, or your workout, or walking your dog around the block, or you're going to the farmer's market, you haven't washed your hair, throw it on, it's amazing. So I love my white baseball cap and it's become a staple in my wardrobe. And then last, but definitely not least, I am the most excited about this. I'm so excited to show you. This is the star of the whole giveaway. In my opinion, I am obsessed with this. I want to get one for myself so that we can match. And I wish I could give away a hundred million of these to all, every single one of you, but this Okay, Rifle Paper Company did a corksicle collab, and this is a triple insulated stainless steel non-slip bottom, which I love, because it has that grippy on the bottom, so that when you set it down, it doesn't clunk. Like, let's just take a moment, right? I'm gonna set it down. Can't really hear anything. You don't hear a big clunk of stainless steel. It is so beautiful. I am so excited about this. Just look at this. I absolutely adore Rifle Paper Company so much. I use them, I was just filling out my planner for today and for this week. I am just so excited to give this mug away to you. This beautiful reusable stainless steel mug with a non-slip bottom and an amazing top. So you can take this in your car. It's super lightweight and the detail on this is so beautiful. Look at the little gold. Can you see how it, oh, I'm so excited. So. All you have to do is leave a comment below and tell me, okay, well my camera filled up so I had to clear off some space on here, but all you have to do to enter this giveaway is leave a comment below and tell me what is one thing on your meal plan this week. It can be anything. Maybe you take one of the recipes from this video and say, I'm gonna try that this week. It can be anything. I just think it'd be really fun if we can all share our recipes and just kind of get inspired, make this giveaway a little bit more fun and exciting so that we can, you know, just get ideas from each other and that way you can, if you see a comment and you're like, ooh, that sounds good, you can put it on your meal plan for this week. So I figured that would be really fun. So just go ahead and leave a comment and tell me what one thing that you're gonna be making on your meal plan for dinner this week is. And then just make sure that you are subscribed to the weekly email newsletters. I'm gonna leave a link in the top of the description box. You just click and make sure that you enter your name and email. If you're already on there, then you're good to go. If not, just click that link and enter in those two pieces of information and then that's it. You're on the email list and Wednesday emails are everybody's favorite. So, and then of course, this is a giveaway for you, my subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, just make sure you click subscribe so that you are good to go and you're all entered. So that is going to be it for this giveaway. I feel like I have to cough. My coughing attack is over. That is gonna be it for this video and for this giveaway. I love you so much and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your week, no matter what is going on in your life. If you have a heavy heart this week, I just wanna, I wish I could just reach through the hug, reach, reach through the hug, <laughs> my brain. My brain's been going a million miles a minute. Lots going on, but in all seriousness, I really do wish I could just give you a hug and just remember that you're not alone in whatever you're going through, you're feeling, and I don't know. I just, that was really on my heart to share with you 
just at the end of this video. I just want you to know that and to remember that you are so loved and I love you so much. I just wanna remind you of that, that you don't have to go at it alone and just go to God and just remember that he's with you and he loves you and I just want you to remember that this week. So I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.